Hi everyone, Crypto Carlos Fandango here again with another video. It's a bit of a mouthful saying that. I think I might take a, a leaf out of Red Panda Mining's book and just call me CCF from now on. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, apologies first off. Long time since my last video. Um, and as I say in previous videos, if I haven't got anything useful to show you, I'm not going to make a video. I'm not going to waste your time. Um, but a lot has been going on. Um, and so it's worth an update now to uh, let you know what I have been doing while I've been so quiet. Um, and there has been a lot going on, so I've had to write some notes so I don't forget it all. Um, so the first first thing is I've completed the C7 replotting, finally. Um, it did take a long time. Just finished it, I think it was the end of February, um, so just before the halvening. And... Um, yeah, had some other issues as well, which I'll go to in a, into in a minute. But uh, it is all done, completed on the drives that I've got so far. Um, so if we have a, a look now at the uh, the dashboard on here. And if I go to the, the Harvester tab, we can see here that we've got 166 terabyte of the... Um, C7 plots now. Um, if you look at the summary down here, you can see everything is K32 C7s now, of which there's 2,184, 100%. Um, so, yeah, all the the USB drives have been done, um, and all of the uh, current disks in the three. Netgear so that are running so far, the NAS units, the 2100s. Um, I had to upgrade, um, I've had some horrendous problems with Spacepool, well it wasn't Spacepool's fault, it was my fault, but um, I got to a point in the C7 replotting where my sort of um, amount of um, net space would, would just plummet down just fly down um, and it would do this once every two to three days um, and I would reboot the uh, harvester um, and it would seem all right again for a few days and then it would plummet down again right down to about 40 or 50 um, terabyte and just stay there so um, I went onto the Discord, and they're very helpful on there, and they um, sort of pointed me in the direction of my network card, um, saying, make sure you've got, um, well, they didn't say make sure, they said, check out IPv6. So I went onto the network card, or what I thought was a network card, and looked, IPv6 was off, so I turned it on. And then magically, I got stability back. Everything started to work as normal, which was a bit strange, because when I queried them further, they suggested that IPv6 must be turned off on your network adapter for it to give the best results. So I was totally confused, went back to my system um, and saw that I had actually turned IPv6 on on the virtual network adapter for the um, VPN that I'm using, not the actual card itself. Um, and with a little bit more investigation, it turns out, rather than using the default setting on my VPN software, which was to allow it to choose an appropriate protocol to use, I switched it to use one that requires IPv6. And so by switching that on, it sorted things out for me. So I removed the IPv6 and put the VPN software back to um, allowing it to choose the protocol to use. And ever since then, everything has been fine and stable for many days now. And I'm getting a good uh, reading on Spaceball every day. So that sorted that problem out. Um, the other thing I had was major problems, um, I don't know if you remember, I'll try and put a picture in, but up the top here I had like a, an acrylic rack that I was starting to mount other USB drives in with um, three uh, blue LED fans on it, and I was using some um, very cheap SATA connectors with their own power supply and a very cheap USB hub. Um, they started giving me all sorts of problems, failing, discs were disappearing, things like that, so that needed to be addressed. Um, so I thought, enough messing around. So I invested in a, a much more expensive sort of £40 USB hub, which is brilliant. 
and does the job very much like the one that I've got on the lower level at the back down here you can see very similar sturdy unit and just works brilliantly and I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place so if you're thinking of buying USB hubs don't bother with the cheap ones really don't spend a bit of money I mean that was 40 pounds I think just about 38 pounds 40 pounds um, and it's worth its weight in gold you know it's brilliant so um, because I got rid of the connectors and the USB hub, um, I decided to let's go back to the normal option that we've got done down here where I've got these laptop cooling racks with the drives open in drive trays. So I've just done that on the top level now and started that um, to finish that off um, and got rid of that acrylic rack. I'm just uh, bidding it, it's going. So um, that was a headache um, and uh, took a long time to sort out. <laughs> but it's all stable now, thank God. Um, the other thing is, obviously, after all the C7 plotting, uh, the harvester seems to be struggling a little bit. I don't know if it's the GT1030 that I'm using. Probably, it hasn't got a lot of memory on it. Um, so I'm, I've been doing some investigation to find out why I'm getting some rubbish harvester latency. Um, you know, you can see here, if you look here, that, that one there is 26 seconds. 26 seconds, which is ridiculous. Um, and if you look at the log file, yeah, every now and then it's um, logging a problem um, where the response time is not below 8 seconds. Um, and there is quite a few of those. So, once again, my theory was, oh, this GT1030 is not up to the job for this amount of plots at C7. Um, so I thought, what I'll do is take the 3060 Ti that I've got in my plotting machine and put it in the harvester down here instead, which I attempted uh, and then very quickly found out that there was only a six pin and not an eight pin connector in that unit because the uh, it's got the bog standard Dell power supply unit in it. Um, and so that leaves me with a few, a few options really. Um, I've got to either get another machine to put the 3060 Ti in and have a, a dedicated harvester machine now that's one option um, or I've got to buy something a little bit more meatier and have it as the harvester but also have it drive the uh, NetApp DS4246 unit because I've got that um, oh, what's it called now? that card HBA card um, needs a PC to go in um, in order to run this unit so I've got a lot, of, a lot to think about there, about what options are next and what I'm going to do to sort this problem out. Um, but for the moment, things are stable. Uh, what else we got? Yeah, as I said, spent a lot of time on the um, Space Pool Discord asking questions and going through a lot of the um, things on there in the troubleshooting channel, um, which was... Uh, a very good idea um, you know if you are with a certain pool join the discord if you haven't I made the mistake of leaving it too late it's uh, very valuable the conversations that go on in there um, and you can pick up a lot of a lot of good tips um, and there's you know obviously that platform for you to ask questions as well and you know even though it's not space pool related there are people in there in the various um, channels that will answer your queries or give you suggestions so it's it's well worth doing that um, and you know I'm very pleased with space pool um, I'm gonna stick with them um, it seems to be a great um, a great pool to be a part of that you know we're still in this um, well actually <laughs> it seems to have disappeared but we've been in a dust storm for I don't know how long but it, looks, it seems like pre Christmas um, and you know obviously um, transactions take a while to go through payments and stuff like that and block winds but um, I can see it's disappeared as of, t as of today so um, that's that's good news maybe things are all back to normal um, and yeah with the halvening happening oh, it's obviously cut daily profits in half so whereas before I was getting around four five yeah it was about four five four six Obviously it's half now and I'm getting just under 0 0.023 0 .023 a day, which isn't a lot. And obviously um, 
it's having an effect on on things so uh, what I've got to do now is um, concentrate on growing um, a little bit more efficiently um, to try and get back to where I was so that is the plan um, at the moment I think cheer price as of today which is the 16th of Mar uh, March 2024 was 32 23 32 pounds 23 pence um, and that's gone down quite a bit over the last day um, we, we, we did hit up in the 40s almost a couple of weeks back um, but it seems to have dropped off again um, so that's having a an impact it's costing me now one pound 30 pence a day to run my whole solution here at the current price and um, so we could do with the price going back up again um, I know um, my electricity provider um, as of first of April is cutting electricity costs as well so that'll help us so I can reevaluate all that at that point in time um, the other thing I've been doing is um, you know I don't only mine sorry farm cheer I mined other coins I've got other coins in my various wallets so being in the UK it's a bit difficult to um, find an off-ramp um, at the moment Coinbase is my only option it doesn't support all the coins that I've mined or farmed um, but it would allow me to do some transactions for trading across other exchanges so um, I don't know if you're aware but here in the UK they're really clamping down now on crypto um, with regards taxing and also um, you know Coinbase now is called Coinbase UK and you have to um, you have to give them a lot of details now um, I've had to go through a, an identity thing this morning where I've had to uh, photograph my driving license or passport was another option uh, as ID and put those through for verification along with all the other details about you so they know exactly what's going on now the government's tr tracking you heavily so you know uh, I think it's important not to be a, a fool and to make sure that you do declare everything that you make from crypto I'm not making anything at all at the moment I've spent a lot of money mainly purely for the enjoyment but I've yet to see any returns of any sort yet because I've not crystallized anything um, you know at the moment what I've got sitting in all my various wallets is monopoly money and you know and uh, if the tax man wants to tax my monopoly money um, you know go ahead go ahead try that but um, you know until such point as I crystallize that and turn that into fiat currency you know um, there's nothing really I need to put forward um, you know my my portfolio balance is ridiculous at the moment very small fish um, but let's hope that changes in the future and uh, you know it, let's, let's be transparent with the UK tax man um, about what we're doing and um, you know what we what we could earn from it anyway that is just about it for now um, so I hope some of that was informative some of it was interesting um, obviously I've got a lot to think about about where I go now um, and I will keep you informed as to that and any other information uh, that I find out um, I did find some interesting articles on the Chia sort of documentation on their website about how long you can um, harvest on certain GPUs um, and the volume of plots that it will support um, you know with the various um, sort of um, milestones um, I'm going to dig that out and I'll do a video on that so I can show you that um, a bit bit strange in that the lowest GPU that they specify is the 3060 Ti everything above that is is higher so um, it's a bit difficult to see if you're using a you know something like a GT 1030 or a 1070 for harvesting um, how it fit in, fits into that but I'll uh, I'll dig it out and I'll show it you anyway just in case you're not aware um, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that please you know um, it would be a big help if you just hit that like button and put a comment and you know if you want to subscribe as well um, you know it all helps to get my videos out there and um, you know I don't do any paid promotion or anything like that so I'm a long way off making any sort of revenue on YouTube and I'll probably never get there at all but you know I've got to ask anyway um, so I'll uh, see you next time <laughs>